All right, we have a rather exciting guest with us on the show right now. Falguni Shah, she's a Grammy Award winner. She's with us right now. And we, Falguni, we're so excited to have you. I, it's, it's so lovely to see your face. We earlier got to see you uh, just a few hours ago actually respond on the media to what your meeting with the Prime Minister was like. And it was so lovely to see you so excited. I just want to ask you, I'm going to ask you the same question. Could you describe to us what it was like to meet the Prime Minister? Could you also tell us, I know you participated in the yoga event that took place. What yeah. was that like? What is the kind of sentiment you're seeing around you? I think there is so much excitement in New York and in D.C. that our Prime Minister is, is here and representing India and bringing so much, uh, so much hope to everybody that he's meeting, uh, especially South Asians. Um, yesterday, you know, he's very kind. He invited my family, my my son, my husband, and myself to see him. And he he inaugurated our song, Abundance in Millets, that just released. And, you know, it was it's nice to have him do it, you know, cut the ribbon, you know, put it out it's it was such a joyful after six months of work that we did together he in delhi me in america like it was it's hard you know day and night but when you see the fruits when the track is released and you know it's really doing well and the the feedback is so positive he and he opening and he you know making it a very you know very sweet occasion for us uh personally as well he met my husband and my son and that means a lot and that was great and then today i had i was invited to do yoga <laughs> as the rest of the other people in un and it was fine with there was richard gear was there and then we were all in the same row but um it went so well we made a guinness record record of some time some kind you know i think a lot of nationalities 135 nationalities did yoga at the same time in the same place so that was a guinness rec record that we made but it was the what what I saw was peace and everybody coming together and the speak and speaking the language of holistic living. Mm. And, you know, there was peace, calmness and serene atmosphere when everyone was doing yoga together. So that is huge in this day and age, you know, to bring so much friendship, happiness, joy and peace is 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 very nice. Mm. Can I ask you, Falguni, I'm, I'm not entirely sure how many years you've spent in India versus how many years you've spent in the United States. But this next question is relevant to that because I just want to ask you, you will hear people say that the perception of Indian Americans has to some degree changed. And I want to understand if that's something that you identify with. And I'm not talking necessarily about uh, Prime Minister Modi's leadership at all. I mean, right back, you know, for the early 2000s when you had Prime Minister Manmohan Singh, do you think there's at all been a change in the way that Indians are perceived abroad over the last few years? I think the numbers have grown. grown. And when there are a few hundred, a few thousand versus now two or three million, you know, our voices will be heard. And, you know, South Asians, Indians are very a very successful community in America, uh, very educated. So, you know, they all want an Indian doctor. They all want an Indian lawyer. So they go to them. And I think the perception of our community is uh, is very, it's we're liked, we're needed, and we are wanted. And that's a good feeling, you know. Uh, I, you know, I, I, it, to me, it's it's been growing very gradually. But now I see that when we all unite and we all speak the same language of peace and friendship, they have to hear, you know, mm. our voices will be heard. How can it not be? Mm -hmm. uh, Falguni, the next thing I'm going to say is, is something that I've really seen in a lot of the reviews that are written about your music, that you've tried so hard over the years to really incorporate the, the Indo-Western the Indo fusion, as it's called, in terms of instruments, in terms of music. And you're someone who has stored in Mumbai to across India. And I therefore want to ask you there, when it comes to the perception of younger people in India towards music, towards something like the kind that you're trying to introduce, especially because your Grammy, correct me if I'm wrong, was for a children's album, which is incredible. I just want to know, have you seen a change in perception when it comes to India and the way Indians view the potential of Indian music abroad? 
tell me your question in a different way. I want to make sure I understand exactly what you're trying to ask. I want to understand if you've seen a change in in your life from the early years to the later years in the ways in which the music that you make is perceived by people. Mm. So, you know, the grass is always greener on the other side, right? It's it's it also implies to music. I love classical music. I go back to that. I embrace that because I don't get it enough here. I don't get folk music here. If I want to do dandiya, it's like I don't know where I'm going to be able to go and play garba. Mm. Right? It's it is not very easily we can do it, but we have to travel distances, you know. We have to go for one hour drive to go to Edison to do garba. Mm. So when you don't find something very easily, the value goes up. And I think it's the reverse in America, in India, right? In in India, if you don't find the that music very easily, then you want to go 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 do what you what you don't know, your curiosity. Right. And I think I don't know the mind of an Indian musician now because I don't live there, but I feel like if they keep their classical, the folk, the ghazal, the tumri, dadra tradition alive then they already have everything they need. And then it's just a matter of drawing other traditions mm-hmm. because our music is so rich that anybody who puts themselves in our music, they already have the ocean. Then it's just a matter of like, okay, what can I get from other cultures, which you can, which I also borrow. Mm-hmm. You have to draw from everything you like, but I, I try to stay true to my roots. Mm-hmm. All right, Falguni, thank you for joining us. Thank you for taking out time in your day. Thank you for telling us more about what it was like to meet the Prime Minister and for telling us your thoughts about the music industry. Thank you for joining us this morning. That was Falguni Shah. As we told you a little while earlier, she's a music composer and a Grammy winner as of last year. We're going to head into a short break. On the other side, we're going to continue to cover this story, the Prime Minister's visit to the United States.